Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 iOS 14 settings that you should turn off right now on your device running iOS 14. There are a lot of new settings on iOS 14 and of course old ones as well that you should take a look at them and turn them off right now on your iPhone. Starting off with automatic updates. Now on iOS 14 we have some new options. When you go to general and you go to software update and you go right here to the software update section to automatic updates you will see that you will have now two options. So this is new on iOS 14. You have download iOS updates and install iOS updates. Now first of all why you should not install iOS updates automatically. Sometimes on some iOS version that might be a bug or something so you want to hold on to updating a software update a few days before we know whether that's good or not whether it has major bugs or not also you want to turn off download ios updates automatically because if you don't want to install that update this will install it on your device and just will take up a lot of space like updates sometime might be like four gigs or even more on some devices so you want to download them manually after you have decided that you want to update to that software the next setting you should turn off is found under the privacy settings. You go to privacy location services and you go to any of the apps you will see here a button that says precise location. Now what this does it allows any app to know your precise location. So of course you don't need all the apps to know exactly where you are. You can have them know your location that will be approximate but not your precise location. So go ahead and turn it off right here. One of the coolest feature of iOS 14 is of course the new backtap feature. So backtap is right here that allows you to perform different actions and even open different shortcuts using double tap and triple tap on the back of your iPhone. But of course when we get iOS 14 it's very exciting we go ahead and configure backtap and might not ever use it again. But of course that will consume battery as it's always active waiting for the taps to go ahead and perform the action that you have set. So if you're not using it make sure go ahead and select none that way you have disabled back tap of course if you're not using it on your iOS 14 device. The same goes for sound recognition. Now sound recognition on iOS 14 can be found under the accessibility settings right here we have sound recognition. Now if you have this on it will basically just listen for these sounds that you have enabled here and we'll send you a notification once it hears one of those sounds. But sometimes we might not even need this. We just go ahead and enable this to see how it works, if it works and something like that. So make sure you disable sound recognition if you're not using it because it will consume a ton of battery and of course CPU performance as well. Something on iOS 13 that a lot of people hated is that when you go to share something you will get like contact suggestions on the share sheet. On iOS 14 now you can disable that. Go to settings, go to Siri and search and you will have here suggestions when sharing. Go ahead and disable this and then you will have a clean share sheet when you want to share something. Next up is a setting found under the Safari settings. It is called Preload Top Hits. Now what this does on Safari when you're searching for something it will preload the top hits but you might not even want to go to that website but it will still preload it with everything that it needs. So of course that will consume battery, will consume CPU power as well as data. So make sure you go ahead and disable this. On iOS you can of course hide photos from the photo library. You go ahead hide them and they will be in this folder right here. So that's not really that good. They will still be there and anyone can have access to them. So what you need to do here is go ahead and go to settings, go to the photo section and right here will find hidden album. Make sure you go ahead and disable this. So now whenever you hide photos they will be on the hidden album but the album will disappear from the photos app. A very important setting that you need to turn off in order to make the battery of your iPhone last longer is found under accessibility and under the Siri section. It is right here. Always listen for Hey Siri. Make sure you go ahead and disable this. So what this does is that it will keep your iPhone always listening for the command even though your iPhone might be on your pocket or laying face down on a table. That of course will consume a ton of battery so make sure you go ahead and disable this. On iOS 14 when you go to settings you will find now a new section called App Store. This used to be like iTunes and App Store something like that. Now it's just App Store so if you go here you will find automatic downloads. So what you need to do here is disable automatic downloads for apps and apps updates. Of course whenever you have 
a lot of battery or you're connected to the Wi-Fi network that you want to, you can go ahead and download your apps or your updates without your iPhone having to do that automatically in the case that you might have low battery on your iPhone or just connect to your cellular data. If you go to the seller settings and scroll all the way down, you will find here a section that says iCloud Drive. Now, what this does when your device is not connected to the Wi-Fi, it will use your cellular data to basically transfer documents and data to your iCloud Drive. Now, if you have a limited plan, of course, you don't want it to do that because it will consume a lot of data. So make sure you go ahead and switch this off and then the data will be transferred only via Wi-Fi. Under the privacy settings, you will find here local network. Now on the local network, you will find a list of all the apps that have access to your local network. So basically what you need to do here is go ahead and turn it off for any of the apps that you don't want to have access to your local network. Now, of course, there are a lot of times like apps that you might just give permission to have access to your local network while setting up the app or something like that. Go ahead and check local network under privacy and make sure you disable it for any of the apps that you don't want to have permission to have access to your local network. Next up, what you need to do is go to settings, go to notifications and go to show previews. Now, right here, you have to choose when unlocked or never. So basically, when your device is locked, someone will be able to see your notifications, whether that's a message, private like email or something like that, if you keep it at all way. So it will always show the preview of the notification. But if you select this, it will only show them when your device is unlocked or never. It will never show a preview of a notification. Under notifications, you will also find here Siri suggestions. So right here, you can disable Siri suggestion notifications for the lock screen. So you go ahead and disable this and Siri won't send you any notifications with suggestions to the lock screen of your device. If you don't want to do that, then go ahead and check the apps individually and just disable the ones that you don't want to have there. So if Siri sends you like different notifications from all these apps with suggestions, then of course that will consume a ton of battery. So make sure you go ahead and disable this for any app that you don't want to have notifications from Siri. On iOS 14, under the music settings, you will find a new section called motion. Now, what this does is basically add that motion effect to the music album art on the music app. But what you want to do here is go ahead and turn it completely off or at least just use it on Wi-Fi only. Next up, go to settings, go to display and brightness and make sure you have disabled rise to wake. Rise to wake will wake up the screen of your iPhone when you pick it up off a table or pick it out of your pocket. But of course, that consumes battery. It's always waiting for the movement to basically turn on the screen. So make sure you go ahead and turn this off. With iOS 13 anywhere, we have the new gestures to redo and undo, but there is still the old shake to undo, which most of the times you will basically accidentally invoke it. So go ahead, go to settings, go to accessibility, go to touch and make sure you disable shake to undo. Under privacy, if you go to location services, you will find here a very important setting. Go to system services and you will find here significant locations. Now, what this does is that it will basically keep track of your significant locations. I don't know why you would need this, so make sure you go ahead and turn this off. Right here under system services, you will also find product improvement. Now this basically uses your location for product improvement. So whatever that is, go ahead and turn these off because you don't need them and they will just consume battery on your iPhone. And right here under system services, you will have a lot of different services that are consuming battery by just having access to your location. So what you want to do here is go ahead and basically like turn these off like location based suggestions. You have here setting time zone, system customizations, home kit, all the stuff that you don't need. Of course, make sure to keep emergency calls and SOS always enabled. The other ones can be basically disabled. And last but not least is a setting found under the Safari settings to scroll all the way down and right here we'll find automatically save offline. So basically what this does, everything that you put on the reading list will be saved for offline reading. So that will consume basically storage out of your iPhone. So you don't want to do that. Make sure you go ahead and disable this. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 20 settings that you should turn off right now on your iOS 14 device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more and I will see you guys on the next one.